So we know it's the holidays, and of course, everyone in League City loves decorating both inside and outside their home. Well, we are doing the same thing inside all League City facilities, and I want to give you a tour of what some of our employees are up to. Here at the front desk, this is what greets you as you walk in the door. Uh, pretty much wrapping paper galore. I also love that she's um, created our Santa's naughty or nice list. Um, and there actually is some naughty employees and trying employees that are on there as well. So that, uh, that we love the naughty list. Um, and then of course, just everywhere you walk, um, and they're still in the process of decorating, but let's just take a tour real quick of City Hall. I'm gonna take you downstairs first. Utility billing, uh, when you come in to, uh, you know, talk about your water bill or have some kind of discrepancy or need to just pay your water bill. They've gone all out. Again, the theme seems to be wallpapering everything with wrapping paper. And then <laughs> here's all of our customer service reps for utility billing. Again, uh, the theme seems to be wallpaper, uh, you know, wrapping paper used as wallpaper. I can't think of a better way to describe it, but ch check this out. I mean, every single cubicle <laughs> is decked out uh, with wreaths, with wrapping paper, uh, and then they've actually created this whole area over here. It looks like for Santa, and I'm wondering at some point if Santa's going to stop by. They, they even have their own <laughs> hot chocolate uh, station where their employees can make hot chocolate, uh, having some good little uh, homemade snacks and some from our favorite Shipley's Donuts around town. Counts payable uh, and also a home of our uh, finance department. And th this, this, <laughs> this is overwhelming. Let me, let me show you everything that's going on. Um, Letters, they have a letters to Santa box over here. Um, they of course have got that, uh, that famous lamp from a Christmas story movie. What better holiday decoration than that? Um, and then over here is the Grinch. Let me show you the Grinch who apparently is causing trouble because he's ripping down all the ceiling. Uh, <laughs> Wallpaper. Okay, this is what you got to check out. Look, look above. They have taken every single ceiling tile and covered it with a different form of uh, of wrapping paper. Um, really, they've clearly they've clearly had a, a great time here. And accounts payable uh, in our uh, finance department. Let's walk by some of these cubicles again. The decorating continues. Um, every single uh, more wrapping paper. Check this out. Oh, and then they have everybody's pictures. How adorable. Um, so, so yeah, this uh, accounts, uh, accounts payable has gone all out um, with the decorating here. We, appre we appreciate what they're up to, having lots of fun, really just enjoying the, the holiday uh, spirit, but still the tiles. I, I still blows my mind how they got up there and did, and did all that. Okay, now we're gonna try human resources because they've really started all this fun. So let's check out what kind of decorating human resources has going on. Lots and lots of garlands, of course. Very good. Oh, we have stockings and our own names. I love that, of course. Let's, let's hope that Santa comes by on Christmas Eve and stocks them with some, uh, some good stuff. Oh, everybody has a stocking. This is awesome, lots of tinsel. Okay, now we're on the second floor of the City Hall a building. Uh, this <laughs> is the area of Ann Will Williams. We also call her our trash queen or trash czar because she handles all calls related to waste management, uh, related to trash in our city. Um, and we also know Ann is a craft master and a craft wizard. So she painted all of this herself. This is actually the mayor's office that she painted. She made these snowflakes up here. Uh, so she she did. <laughs> she loves to craft. She has a cricket machine. She loves it. Um, so she spent a lot of time in her off time at home over the weekend um, creating this fun area that's uh, right outside the mayor's office and outside our city manager's office. Okay, so in addition to just big areas of city, everyone's dec decked out their cubicle or office. So Scott Livingston, who's our economic development director. Actually, every holiday Scott does this, whether it's Halloween, 
whether it's fall and Thanksgiving in the spring for Easter, he does this every time for his office. He's kind of inspired everyone from the beginning. Uh, communications, of course, my team. Um, we have, you know, we've kind of taken everything from the holiday float, <laughs> dismantled it, and we've put it together in our little area here. Uh, this is one of my favorites over here, this cubicle. <laughs> it's all decked out for Christmas. How can you not be festive working in this cubicle, right? This is so much fun. Okay, now we're over at the City Hall Annex building where we have our building department. More letters to Santa over here, Inspector Elves. So more fun from the building department. They have a lot of 3D animals. Uh, I don't know who's been collecting all of these, but between owls and little puppy dogs. Okay, so the theme is definitely garland and more wrapping paper, which is uh, code compliance, which is part of our building department. Hi, come on in. Oh, look at this. We have more. And you, oh, and you have your own Christmas tree there as well. All right, so engineering, they claim they've brought it. Let's see, let's see. We've seen some other ones. Pretty impressive. Again, use of garland and tinsel. Uh, lots of stickers. I'm pretty impressed so far. Oh, let's, oh, good, oh, good Lord. Oh, Lord, look and see what engineering has. No, we're coming on in. Okay, well then we have, look at, we have Santa slippers. Apparently Santa's been tracking through here. Um, and oh good lord, oh I love the, these are actually great ideas for the use of tinsel to make a cute Christmas tree. These are awesome. You guys did this all yourselves, right? They're all like shutting their doors. They're like, no! Look, look at these. Every single door, every single door has, let me see, oh my lord. Every single door. All right, engineering. Apparently Santa's been here. I can see his footprints. Oh, good, oh, good Lord, okay, okay. Look at this, you've got treats for all of us who are stopping by to see Santa. Le and letters to Santa is definitely a theme, though this is letters to John Baumgartner, so I'm not sure this seems like he's Santa. Apparently they, they're going to be sending their letters to, to Santa, which is AKA known as city manager, John Baumgartner. So yeah, engineering, you've, uh, You've brought it, you've done a great job. So of course, over at the police department, it's always about the boys in blue and blue Santa. So they've done a great job. I love this guy. Look at check out the, the nutcracker and he has, um, has a little handcuffs, which is awesome. And then of course they found a blue Santa. Um, and then I know the VIPS program made that great wreath, uh, blessed are the peacemakers. So every year, police department brings it, but I've heard that dispatch at the police department has really brought it this year. So let's go check them out. Oh, oh, they have a, check this out. Their bows are made out of toilet paper. You know, once again, I, I think we're learning a few tricks that you can use at home to decorate your home because that's, that's pretty creative. And of course the chains, always my favorite that you can make out of paper. Now this is the hidden section of dispatch. When you call 911, this is where it goes. So normally nobody's allowed in here, but I've heard they're letting us in. Oh. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh, you guys have your own fireplace. So everybody who works here, they have their own snowflake with their TC number, their telecommunicator number that they go by. Santa in a sleigh, and then it goes to the reindeer. And then of course Santa. I mean, nobody else had a live Santa. Yes. Everyone else's Santa was, for lack of a better word, stuffed. So it's nice having a live Santa here, love it. So now we're at our Public Works facility. We call it PWOC, Public Works Operations Center. And as you walk in, I love this tree. It's all flocked. So very welcoming when you walk in the door. And so um, we have water, we have wastewater, we have traffic and other departments based here. So we're gonna go check out and see what they've done. So our water quality supervisor, Mike, is not only amazing at making sure that our water quality is 100% perfect here in League City, he also apparently loves Christmas. Check this out. 
not just one little tiny village area, but um, it looks like Mike has the whole Christmas village. Wow. So in addition to Mike's cubicle and water production, they of course have decorated with a beautiful tree, very, very tasteful, uh, tasteful decorating and water production. And I know that's because Perla is in charge of it all. Uh, she's over here <laughs> and she's got her own little decorated area as well. She's usually the one answering the phone when you call the water department um, and she's dispatching folks all over the city if there's any problems. So as usual, Perla, very tasteful and beautiful, just like you. you. <laughs> okay, so now we're over at Hometown Heroes Rec Center. Let's see what they've done to deck it out for the holidays. Come on in. Of course, oh, they have white Christmas trees. They're bringing up a whole different color scheme here. I think a lot of this is left over from our Breakfast with Santa, which is always a huge event. And then of course, oh yes, more wrapping paper. And some, be oh yeah, and they have a beautiful forest of trees over here as well. Love that. Okay, so the, apparently the theme is Nutcracker here at Hometown, and we're supposed to, f oh yes, it is a Nutcracker Wonderland in here. Check this out. And, oh yes, I recognize this, okay. Oh. <laughs> All right, oh, oh my lord. Okay, does Kenny know you did this to his office? Not, oh Lord, okay, okay, all righty. Oh, yeah, I like the elf in charge. <laughs>